Everybody else left to go see Transform. Before I head home, I just want to kind of ask Jerica, I mean, uh, Erica and Jake. <laughs> I wanted hey to ask them, like, there's times where I've had at least like 10 days and I've texted Jake a couple of, about a couple of them where like I was like this isn't going anywhere I just should stop now like I don't there's no point in keeping going and like I've had plenty of those days and there was just times where I felt like I was failing because it was just so difficult no nope. is that distracting you no, no, I can okay. stop no it's okay um, and then so I just wanted to ask Erica and Jake, like, what was the time get, get. that you guys, like, just completely were like, I'm done, if you, if you have any. Yeah, of course. I think everybody has something. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, people, a lot of people don't understand how hard it is. Here's the thing. Here's what it is. Let me drop some knowledge on y'all real fast. What um, foot? What? What is on your feet? Ew. Oh, it's I went I wear new socks. Oh, oh so at least they're like clean. The, at least they're the fuzzies. Clean. Yeah, I only wear new socks. <laughs> but um But um my favorite artist is Drake. And I depict every lyric that, that he sings or reps. Because what he says is what I go through on a day to day to day basis. Like I do not relate with anyone more than Drake. And I've never even met him. So, I don't, and I don't know the exact lyric, but he says like people standing, I can tell the people standing for nothing are getting tired. Yeah. So I can tell the people that are standing for nothing are getting tired. You do stuff on a day-to-day -day basis, not just to do it, but because there's a purpose for it and I'm standing for something. Yeah. And I, I'm, not, I'm not just standing for one thing, I stand for a lot of things, but like, to prove that a kid in the middle of Ohio that doesn't do shit and got bad grades could have whatever he wants. To, to pave and innovate like a new Hollywood that's like so <laughs> old like and that. stale. And the list goes on and on of like what I stand for. But because I stand for those things, I don't get tired at all. I'm just like, this cause, this thing needs me. And so like I never, lose motivation and get tired and yes sometimes there's like the days are like ah uh. but no seriously like I've had so many times so many times where everyone the whole the for example all of YouTube like literally all of YouTube come is coming down on me that's a lot of pressure yeah, that's, that's, a lot true. Of that's a lot and it's not like they were coming at like you know so like five different people no it was all at me my own brother was included on that yeah people that I was associated with in the past that are then like making stuff up, right? It's literally like I'm getting hated on. I'm getting people that are saying I'm like the worst person in the world. I get my own brother coming after me. And it's I get the biggest the, YouTuber yeah, it's in the all world. All trending and all at the top. All trending, all getting millions and millions and millions and millions of views. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. But but the difference is, those people, they don't stand for anything. So I'm gonna beat them every goddamn time. <laughs> That was lit. That wow. Was great. That was deep. That's gonna be hard to follow up on. No, I've had a bunch of times as well. I think the hardest and the one that sticks out to me the most is when I first moved to California. Um, I didn't go back to school, like, cause that's what everyone does in a small town. Like, they go from high school, they go right into college, and like, that's not what I was wanting to do. So my parents weren't financially supporting me when I got here. So I remember I had $7.60 in my bank account. I had nowhere to go, I had no help. So I got on Craigslist and I found this lady who let me literally sleep on her living room floor on an air mattress just so I didn't have to go home to Tennessee and go back to college. But like there were so many times in between that where I was like, I can't do this. Like I literally can't even afford to go to the grocery store. Like. I don't have any, I had no friends when I moved to California either. It was me all by myself, all alone. So I was like beating myself up left and right, like trying to get to where I want to be. And I just remember being like, okay, if I go home right now, what like, yeah, like I'll have money and I'll have a nicer house, but like, what am I gonna do? And I just remember being like, you gotta stick it out yeah. and work hard and remember like what you came here for. And now we're here. Now we're here, dog. 
Oh, and I'm back now. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Thomas? I've had it so many times, guys. I feel like everybody has. Honestly. Everybody has days where it's hard, but if you persevere. If it were easy, everybody would do it. Everyone would do it. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta want it. You gotta <laughs> want it. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this little piece of just like a little sharing to like something you don't see from Jake and Erica. If you like, it's it just a little different side of like the more real deep. Yeah. So <laughs> all up in there.